Hello, so I'm coming from my car. I just got off of work. Um, I'm a news photographer in, in the city of New York. Um, I was working um, for News 12 Long Island on uh, September 11th, 17 years ago. And I did respond to Ground Zero. First of all, I want to say something that is probably not said enough. It's probably not people who have a chance to say it. To everybody in Michigan, who the way this is going to. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for sending all the help that you send, the people, the resources, the equipment, everything that you sent. It means a lot for our community, especially no different than, say, a small town in Michigan, a small town in North Carolina, with the hurricanes coming to North Carolina um, right now, and a big city like New York. You know, there's no... Uh, there, there's, um... Sorry. Amazing feeling that knowing that there's other people in this country, there's other people in communities, small communities that, you know, you're hundreds and hundreds of miles away. You're other states away. You may be on the other side of the country away. And not only in our time of need were you there, you also are every year commemorating and remembering with us. And that means a lot. And it means a lot for me personally. Um, I did lose a really good friend down there. He was a New York City police officer in the photo unit. Um, and actually, in one of the documentaries, you see him running behind some firefighters down into uh, one of the buildings. Um, that's the last thing I saw him alive. Uh, his name is Glenn. Um, they found him months later. Um, so in that regard, does this still hurt? Yeah, it still hurts. It's, I post his I post his business card that he gave me on my Facebook page every year, and I also post a picture. A couple I have a couple different pictures. This one I posted is the sun is the sun rising between the twin towers, and. You know, I go back to the, you know, it, it, it's hard, it's hard to mean to me. Um, I go back to that day and you think about everything that's happened since then. Um, you think about everything that happened that day. And I lost a good friend. I also almost lost a couple other good friends, um, who worked at different TV stations who were there too when the, when the first tower collapsed who were um who actually glenn you know ran into one of my friends and told him and told him go the other way and told him run the other way so i think glenn knew where he was going i think a lot of those firefighters knew where he was going because you look at the you know the documentary and you look at their faces and this is the testament to how brave these people are. It was a testament to why I was a firefighter. I became a firefighter for 10 years. Is they were looking up at that building and their mentality was, okay, let's go put it out. Okay, let's go to work. And it's pretty amazing. But as somebody has passed by me playing music whatever. What it means for communities around the country to commemor commemorate today and honor the day with us, it means a lot. It means that we're not forgotten. It means they're not forgotten. It me means how... It means the country, you know... One of the amazing things about 9-11, um, for me, and, you know, not that it was amazing, it's a horrific event, and... I still hurt 17 years later. 
is right after that how we became we came close to the country. Right after that we became one country. Everybody had a flag. Everybody was waving flags. Everybody was calling flags. Nobody was arguing with each other. It was not the decisiveness and the bitterness that's going on today. We were all one country and we all had one purpose in mind. You know, it was to recover, was to, was to, if there's any survivors to get, was to get them out, either at the Pentagon, at the World Trade Center in Pennsylvania. And after that, it was to heal, to come together and heal. Um, I think it's the, I think I'm rambling and I know and I'm all, I'm all over the place, but one of the things I think is amazing is that all these other, you know, like all you, town, all you guys in these towns are sharing this day with us, or commemorating this day, or remembering our... Are remembering our people, are remembering the pain with us, or sharing our pain, and it's part of the healing process. Although I know I'm never probably going to fully heal from it, um, and I know other people that I know or friends are who are worse, worse off, worse more worse experiences than I had. Um, I wasn't down there until after the towers fell. Um, I have friends who watch people jump out of buildings. I have a friend who took one of the pictures that you see of people jumping out of buildings. Um, but like I said, to all the communities that sent people, they sent equipment. Uh, to there was a bunch of uh, different communities who had fire trucks being built at um, in was you know Wisconsin Seagrave Pierce Manufacturing um, all over the country who basically said to the manufacturers send them to New York I think there was a couple of fire trucks that came from other communities they were brand new they haven't even taken delivery yet they're sitting there ready to delivery and the communities came back and said. Send them to the FDNY. Send them to New York. And the companies did, and so that's the way. I mean, the companies went to work and built them their fire trucks over again. But you know, that's amazing. It's seeing that and how people came to our is a big deal. It's a huge deal. I know I keep repeating it, but it is. It's a huge deal. It's it's comforting. It's saying, you know, we got your back. Um, and it's not forgotten. I don't think it's forgotten from any New Yorker who was in New York at that time. Anybody who lived through this it's not forgotten by any of us on how much support we got from all these different parts of the company, especially Michigan. I was talking to you guys in Michigan, um, the help that you guys sent us. Um, you know, it's a debt that honestly we're never going to repay. As a city, as a country, we're never going to repay it. And I want to say thank you. It means a lot. It means it meant the world. It meant a lot. It meant um, kind of like um, I guess how you know you have a hurricane going into the Carolinas right now, and you know people once again. People are lining up, getting stuff together to when the when the hurricane's going to run in there and help out, and that's what this country is about, and that's what the spirit of this, of America is. You know, that's what we are. Um, 
you know, all the decisiveness, all the bitter and the hatred, that's not what this country is. This country is people who care about each other, people who run into the fire because, you know, they need help and who else is going to do it? So, what this thing, you know, what, um, sorry. It, for me personally, it means a lot when I hear other communities taking time and remembering because that's, we can't forget. We cannot, we cannot forget what happened. We can't forget the 5,000 plus people who are angels now. Um, one of the f stories I have from that day was a couple of days later I'm sitting on West Street now West Street is, goes down past the World Trade Center and this guy comes up to me and he looks at me he goes this is your Pearl Harbor we lived through that we got through that we'll get through this too and that moment I'm like yeah because because honestly at that moment we didn't know what was going on we didn't know if we were going to survive we didn't know what you know was there another truck you know another truck full of bombs or stuff there's so many stories but like I said one of the amazing things and what the th things that came that I found from those days and such those days is all the help and all the people from other parts of this country who got behind us. You know, it's an amazing thing when you feel, when you're in your darkest hour and you have, and you feel love and you heal, feel a whole country behind you saying, hey, New York, hey, Washington, hey, Pennsylvania, we got your back, we're right here, let's do this. So, thank you. Thank you, Michigan. Because I don't think it gets said enough. I don't think it's called told enough that 17 years ago, in our darkest hour, the people in Michigan the people of North Carolina, the people of South Carolina, the people of Wyoming, people of, you know, name any state in this, in this union. In our darkest hour, they became our light. And that meant a lot, and I thank you.